What's up guys, War here. Good morning. Today we are bringing a brand new Witch Doctor class into the PTR. It's an auto haunt class. You know the last one that we did in the video was an auto Locust Swarm build. This is also going to be casting Locust Swarm, but we're going to be doing everything through haunt. So the last build that we did for the Witch Doctor had to be scrapped because uh, Blizzard decided to change all the powers or some of the powers for the Witch Doctor in the patch update so we are making a brand new build this one's a little bit different but i think it's actually better and it's going to be one of the really really good t16 builds for uh season 27 which is going to be awesome so let's get into it we're going to be doing everything through haunts which is going to be great we're just going to do a nephilim rift you're going to see how the build works then we're going to give you everything that you need as always now some things may change in the build but we'll go over that in a minute let's do it let's go guys so this build is really, really cool to play. Uh, I've tested it, you know, last night and this morning, and I really wanted to just kind of get the build down and make sure, you know, things are great. But as you can see, you just run around and you just cast. You can group them up with Tornado if you want, Tornado, but you're just running around and letting... This is a bad map. You're letting Locust Swarm and Haunt do all of your... All of your damage. Literally everything. You just see him jump, 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 jump. Now, if you want, you can also manually cast Haunt because Haunt is going to want to jump to the next, like, closest enemies. Group them up. So you see it just kind of destroys everything. We don't even care about that, that goblin. There we go. Here goes a good map. Tornado is really, really good for just grouping up a bunch of enemies. Look at the haunting. Look at all of it. It's the Halloween Monster Mash, guys. I do wish I could Spirit Walk for a lot longer. Oh my god, look at that. Look at it. Isn't this so cool? So I think this is actually better than what we would have gotten, you know, out of the last, like, Auto Locust Swarm set that was supposed to deal so much damage because you know if the ring of emptiness would have triggered and worked correctly i think that build would have been really really good but um this build is much more fun as you can see it's so cool you don't have to do anything you can group these guys up you just let haunt and locust swarm or kind of locust swarm bounce around with haunt and just kind of deal damage you move really really fast in this build which is really cool. You got some good defenses for T16. Now, I will say this, guys. The build is not going to be um, super strong by any means, okay? It's just going to be probably, you know, a really good T16 pushing build. You know, just to, like, farm things and, and do all that. I think it'll be, it'll be cool for those reasons. But as far as uh, anything else, it's not going to be... It's not going to be a high GR pushing build. It's not going to be... You know, um, you know, a high damage output build is just going to be really, really fast, really, really tanky in some instances. You see that I did almost die a couple times, but you want to keep your haunt and horrify up to keep those defenses up. So we absolutely demolished that Nephilim Rift, guys. Absolutely destroyed it. So let's go over the build and everything that you need. So... This build is a little different because we're only using a two-piece Jade Harvester set, which when Haunt lands on an enemy already affected by Haunt, it deals 3,500 seconds worth of Haunt, which is a crap ton of damage, okay? Because everything is done through Haunt. 4,000 weapon percent damage over 12 seconds, so you're dealing 3,500 seconds worth of 4,000 damage, which is just kind of in crazy. Let me know down in the comments if I actually have that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Okay, so we got the two-piece Jade Harvester set, and then we uh, combine it with the two-piece or three-piece Ogdul set for reduced damage against and increased damage against elites. Same thing with the Captain Christmas set, guys. We want our cooldowns and resource cost reduction to go down and then increase damage from that. So one of the things that helps with this build is uh, the Haunting Girdle because we want Haunt to release an additional spirit. And then we have another, when we get into our skills, you'll see that we have another spirit that we're going to be releasing. So the more spirits or Haunt spirits that we can do, the more damage that we can do to more enemies. So that's great. Then we are rings, uh, excuse me, we'll do our bracers, 
we have Lacumba's or ornament. This doesn't change because we want additional, uh, you know, reduced damage taken for all of our soul harvest stacks, which is up to 10. So our amulet and rings. Only one thing has changed kind of from that last build is, of course, we got Squirk's necklace for double damage. Ring of emptiness, which is crazy. And then uh, convention of elements instead of the uh, short man's finger because we're not doing any gargantuan stuff. So those are the rings and amulet. Into our weapons and mojo, we got the triumph, which does the same thing. We want spirit walk to last as long as possible because we want to get around the map. This is a T16 uh, farming build, so we want to move around as fast as we can. And then, of course, sacred harvester uh, with the new angelic crack ability, which uh, enemies affected by locust swarm are also haunted. And then when you cast piranhas, all haunted enemies within 60 yards are pulled. This is a great way to just kind of kill a group of enemies, which is nice. And then Soul Harvest stacks 10 times. So those are the gear that you need for the build, guys, going into the cube. We have Wormwood. In the last build, Wormwood was kind of used. You could use it. You could not use it. But now we want Locust Swarm to continuously plague enemies around me. So this will help autocast Locust Swarm, which will autocast Haunt, which is where all our damage comes from, which is fantastic. So then we got the Quizzicodal, Locust Swarm and Haunt now deal their damage in half the normal duration. So now we deal even more damage even faster. And then Ring of Royal Grandeur because we're using three different uh, sets, guys. Skills, of course, Locust Swarm Pestilence to have a Locust Swarm jump to two additional enemies, which is autocasted from Wormwood. Haunt, Resentful Spirits to have Haunt two enemies with, uh, with Spirits. So Resentful Spirits and Haunting Girdle release three which is great. And then Severance, Spirit Walk to get around. Soul Harvest uh, for increased uh, movement speed uh, and intelligence, which is great. And then Horrify for the increased armor. And then Pornado to summon everything into a group and just demolish them. Really, really good. Uh, onto our passives, we have Rush of Essence. Spirit Spells return 100 mana over 10 seconds. So when these spells are happening, you get your uh, spirit back. So we're casting pretty much all of these we're casting spirit walk soul harvest horrify haunt we're casting all of these so we get non-stop mana over 10 seconds uh gruesome feast when you're healed by a health globe you get maximum mana and increased intelligence which is good grave injustice uh gain one percent of maximum life and mana to reduce the cooldown we want cooldowns on everything we want to non-stop be casting these uh to keep our defenses up that's huge and then Confidence Ritual, you gain 25% additional damage to enemies within 20 yards. We're going to be moving so fast that all the enemies are going to be dying so quickly. So this really, really helps us just do even more damage. So those are the skills and abilities, guys. Uh, oh, our gems. Let's get into our gems real quick. We have Zaya's Stone of Vengeance. The damage you deal is increased uh, for every 10 yards between you and your enemies. Bane of the Powerful for increased damage against the Elite Packs. And then, of course, Bane of the Trapped, which is fantastic. So that is the new Auto Haunt Witch Doctor build, guys. I hope you guys really do enjoy it. It's such a cool build. It's it's really, really fun. It's actually... Uh, I think this is actually better than the build that was going to... Or hopefully was going to happen pre-patch. So let me know what you guys think of the build down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the support you guys have been giving me is so freaking amazing. That's why we're making this video early in the morning. It's like 9.45. So um, thank you guys for all the support and love. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, guys. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.